three, two, one. Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your scientist and welcome back to another video. Today I got just Dustin on the camera. So Today we are back with another gallium video. Today we are upping it a notch. We are gonna build a DIY gallium sword and we are gonna be testing it against a bunch of different things including fruit. So it's basically gonna be a gallium sword fruit ninja video. Now before we get into the video guys, I wanna remind you there's gonna be a random Amazon code placed somewhere in this video. So if you want a chance to win that, you gotta watch from the beginning until the end. Otherwise, you might play yourself. All right, guys, by this point, you already know how gallium works. It's basically a metal that has a really low melting point, so it allows you to manipulate it in a whole bunch of really cool ways. So today, we've got some wood, and we've got this board, and we're going to take this outside to the garage, and we're going to build a mold for a sword, fill it up with gallium, throw it in the freezer, let it harden, and then test it out and see how much damage we can do. All right, guys, so we're back in the garage now, and I'm going to show you how we're going to build this mold. So as you see here, we've got this white board, and we've got a bunch of wooden sticks which are gonna act as the outlines for the mold. So we're gonna put two lines like this, as you can see like that, and then we're gonna break off this stick into two. We're gonna put one flat down here, so this is gonna act as the base. All right guys, so as you saw, Dustin was able to break these into two. What we're gonna do is slide this down here a little bit, place one at the top here, and then we're gonna have to break this into a smaller piece and basically cut it off at the bottom down here so that's where the base is gonna be, this is where the tip is gonna be, this is where the damage is gonna be made. But uh, without any further ado, guys, let's actually make the mold. Did you have to be so aggressive? All right, so we've got all of our pieces properly broken. Now we've gotta set it up and nail it into place. A few moments later. All right, guys, so now our mold is almost complete. We've got the outline done with the wood here. Next step is we got to take our aluminum foil and line it some more to make sure that all the creases are completely covered and none of the gallium leaks out. We're going to also use little bits of aluminum foil like here to kind of round out these corners and give it a nice sword feel. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, as you can see here, we've got our mold completed. We filled it up with aluminum foil so that when we pour the gallium in, none of it will escape. This is our pointy end here, so this is where we're gonna do the most damage. And down here is where we're gonna have our handle to make sure we can swing this thing properly. But now all that's left to do is head back inside, fill it with gallium, throw it in the freezer, and wait a really long time for it to freeze and harden. And then we're gonna cut a bunch of fruits with it. All right guys, our mold is ready. We actually put it in the freezer and we're gonna have to pour the gallium into the freezer because we can only slide it in sideways. And if we did that when the gallium was already in there, then we get gallium all over the freezer. So let's head over to the freezer and try this out. All right, so as you guys can see, this is our mold. We're gonna try and pour this in very gently. Here. All right guys, so it's actually slightly tilted towards the bottom end, so we need to put something underneath it so that it tilts back up the way we want it to go. All right guys, we evened it out. We put some paper towel under the back side there. It's actually a little bit too far to the other side, but it's close enough that it should work. So let's finish filling this up. All right, that's one bottle down. Two bottles. All right guys, our mold is completely filled with gallium. I think it's gonna turn out pretty good, but now we just have to close this very slowly and hope that none spills, so here we go. And hope that no, nobody violently opens it in the middle of the night looking for goodies. That too. Oh my god. That last little nudge. That last little bit was cringe. But I don't think we should open it to check. No. Okay, it's in there guys. Now we just gotta wait and we'll see you when it's done. All right guys, it has been like five or six hours since we put the sword into the freezer. We're gonna check it out now and see if it's ready to slice some stuff up. Moment of truth guys, smash that thumbs up button. Here we go. Please be, please, 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 please. Ooh. It's ready. I like that. All right, let's try and pop this out. Oh, it's heavy. All right, guys, we've got our DIY gallium sword ready to go. We just gotta pop it out of the- DIY gallium homemade made do-it-yourself sword. All right, we're gonna pop this out of the mold and see how it works. Come on, please. Oh. Oh. 
All right, be easy now. Be easy now. Please, please don't break. Please don't break. Why don't you just break the boards out around it? Or you could do what you're doing. What is this extra piece? What is that? How did that happen? Ugh. Ugh. Holy sh All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, here is our DIY gallium sword. We've got a few Flip little it over. extra bits that we kind of got to get rid of. We've got some tin foil that's stuck under here. We're going to have to pop that out and we're going to sharpen it a little bit and test it out. All right, guys, any good sword needs to be used. It needs to be wielded. And in order to wield a sword properly, you need a handle. So what we're going to do is build a nice handle for this sword so that we can just swing it freely and have no worries about the damage that we're doing to anything because that's all we're going to be doing is, is damage. That didn't really make sense, but that's okay. This is what we're going to use in order to make our handle. So we're going to wrap the rope around the base here. Should give us enough grip that we can swing this freely. All right, guys. So in order to keep the rope in place, what we're going to do is string it through here and then we're going to wrap it around and pop it back through the center again. So just like so. This looks like a two-man job. Yeah. 12 seconds later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the Gallium Sword is now complete. Take a look. So now that our sword is complete, it's time to test it out on an assortment of fruit that we have in front of us. We're going to start off small and work our way up. So first thing we're going to do is... Is the watermelon. The tomato. Okay. Alright guys, here we go. Attempt number one. Just going to try and slice this tomato nicely. Oh, it's working. It's actually kind of working. That's working. Here! Oh my god! Oh. I mean, I wouldn't use it if you were trying to cook. But, it worked. We actually managed to cut the tomato. I was not expecting it to work because it's kind of kind of blunt. But now I got tomato juice all over my hands, okay. All right, next up, let's try an apple. All right, here we go. This is a little tougher. If this works, I'm gonna be shocked. Uh. <sighs> okay, not, not really working. Give it a nice little chop. Very gentle chop. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's not working. Is there any way we can sharpen this? Bro, forget sharpening it. Look how sharp this is. Ooh, Look at that point. Okay, that's so a good. stab king. It's definitely it's a stab king. It's a stab king. All right, here we go. I feel like This uh, is like the, a, war a warrior's the death right here. You've lived a good long life. Apple game. <laughs> now it's time to go. Oh, it went in. <laughs> oh. oh. That's two halves. That's two, two halves. There's gallium on the apple, yeah, isn't it? Don't eat metal, kids. Bad for you. All right, guys. We managed to chop the apple into. We just had to switch up the technique a little bit. Go with the stab. Next up, we're going to try some bananas. Here we go. We're going to go with the slice attempt first. Banana's got rubbery skin, though. Yeah? <laughs> Keep going. There you go. Here. Anyone hungry? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. Oh! Bro! We're in a new house! Can't be making a mess like that anymore. All right, guys, so we've destroyed a few of the smaller fruits, but it's time that we move on to the big boys. It's also getting late, and you know, this isn't something we should be doing inside. So we're gonna see you guys tomorrow outside, and we're gonna take these things out the next day. All right guys, as you can see, we are now outside. We are ready to destroy ourselves some fruit. We've got our bag of fruit right here. We've got our fire pit, which Dustin has, has um, you know, had some fun with. And now it's time to slice some fruit. All right, first up, we've got ourselves a zucchini. Dustin's gonna throw this in the air. I'm gonna try and slice it in midair. We're gonna see what happens. Here you go. One, two, three. Oh. Didn't work at all. That, this seems like a self pitch kind of thing. I'm I'm trying to film. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I gotta get an even throw. This is so heavy. Oh! 
Did it work? It worked. There we it go. It worked. There you go. It's clean. That just smashed. Well, I wouldn't call. It, I wouldn't call it clean. Well, the brake was clean. Yeah. It might not have been a clean slice, but that's unimportant. Details, Dustin. All that matters is it's broken. Not it bad. It's messy out here. All right, next up, we're gonna do a dirty rotten melon, moldy melon. And just because I know Dustin loves moldy melons almost as much as he loves eggplants, yeah, I'm gonna let Dustin try it. Oh, so you give me the moldy? Oh, yeah. fine, I'll do you it. You like melons too? I'll though. do it. I'll do it. You like melons ah, and eggplants? Ah, this is way actually heavier. I than told you it was heavy. Ah, it's not that heavy. All right, I'm gonna throw the melon. Dustin's gonna try and stab upwards. Ready? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> that was dope. Oh, it's you. You get nasty melon juice all over your hand. Yeah, that's moldy melon juice. All right, so finish her off. Oh, bro, a piece flew over here. Where'd that go? It just completely I got, evaporated. Got that experience with machetes, you know. True. What do you? How do you compare this to a machete? It's a lot heavier. A lot heavier. A lot more blunt force trauma. Less less but slicing power, eh? Less slicing power, more damage. I'd say. Ah. Different it's damage. just a different type of damage. It is a different type of damage. Okay. Apples nice. to oranges, right? It's like a, I like it. Like this, boom, on your head top, done. Oh, you're ove. Yeah, you're, you're ove. All right. All right, that's basically what would happen to you is what happened to this melon. Yeah. All right, guys, next up. You already did that. The pineapple. All right, here we go, guys. This is the best shot. Oh! It's kind of blunt. That was, yeah, it didn't do much slicing. Oh, we got a little dent here. Oh, denting. A little bit of damage. Took a chunk out. I think we should try that again, though. That was really cool. All right. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh! Little pineapple juice on your camera. <laughs> Is there pineapple juice on the camera? A little on the lens, yeah. Oh. It's kind of foggy. It looks oh, wait, wait, see there? Your face is blurred, auto tool blur. Oh, your, your oh. eyes so messed up. It's all like, any oh my God. You oh, look like a, a like a Snapchat filter. I do? You really do. Look at the Dan. We basically gave him a smiley face. Ooh. Time to stab him though. Three, two, one. Oh. It did go on. It did go on. It just didn't stay. And then it fell off. Okay, try again, try again. Three, two, one. Oh. It spun, eh? Yeah, it just bounced off the tip. One more try, one more try. See, I'm just gonna hit it on the end like this. Oh Let's yeah, try that. I do that too. Ready? Oh, this is gonna squirt all over my face. Three, two, one. Oh. You moved it. I got scared. Oh! Oh, I don't even know if I got that. We'll stab it one more time. Our handle is starting to deteriorate a little bit, but that's okay. We're almost done, here we go. There you go. Oh. Oh. There we go. Pineapple guts. <laughs> not the best. Not the best. All right. Last but not least, the biggest test of them all, the watermelon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our watermelon is below. Our sword is above. It's time to do some damage. Big slice on the count of three, guys. Smash that thumbs up one. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Holy shit. Watermelon guts. Turn it over. Go for another one. Another one. Going for a stab this time. That was a nice explosion Have you though. Ever had a dream stab, stab? Oh, I missed it. That's loud. Look at that, guys. I feel like this could be a thumbnail. You know? Might be. All right, one more smash for good luck. <laughs> All right, guys, at the end of every gallium video, you know that we have one last thing to do, and that is melt down our gallium object. And today, we've got a really big one, and, and we can't just do what we normally do. We gotta change things up a little bit, so. Dustin, you got an idea? Heck yeah, I do. Bam, look what we got over here. We got a 1,000 degree metal ball. This thing is still heating up. It is glowing red. Oh God, you like this, don't you? I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited. I'm kind I'm of excited, excited too. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen? 
You think it's just gonna obliterate it? I think it's gonna completely destroy it because the melting point is so low and that is so hot, but it's gonna be satisfying, that much I do know. All right, well, let's get to it. All right. Here we go. All right, guys, Dustin is about to take out the gallium sword with the 1,000 degree metal ball. We're gonna show you guys just the very tip, just the tip on this channel, and if you guys wanna see the full thing, go over and check out Dustin's channel. Oh my, did you already start to do I it? I already started a little bit. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna stick this down inside. Ready for this? Yeah. Got a good oh angle. Oh my god. This Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh! oh my god, instant. It's boiling it. That's crazy. Oh my god, look how easily that goes through. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no. All right, guys, so we just finished destroying the gallium sword, and this is what's left. Da, da, da. We broke it into two pieces. Check these craters in the center here. Jesus. Safe to say Dustin's ball did work on the gallium sword, but that is it, guys. RIP gallium sword. If you have any other ideas for gallium videos you want to see done in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. I was going to say, it's going to be reborn again. Reborn say, again? Yeah, you just melt it down, put it into something else. Exactly. This could be, this could be like a... Uh, you know, anything reincarnated. Literally anything you guys want, we can make it happen. So let us know down below in the comment section. Gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Dustin for being in the video. I hope you guys watched the entire video because there was an Amazon gift code placed randomly in here. So if you guys did it, ha! I got it. You got it already? Yeah. No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that to you Dustin guys. Dustin wouldn't do that. Dustin wouldn't do that. So the, if, if you didn't already, go back, try and find it because it's in there somewhere. But if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and we'll be back with another Galleon video very soon. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we will catch you next time. Toodles!